Hi guys, and welcome back to the Backwater Entrepreneur Podcast and Show, the podcast that guides your business through the backwaters to the global marketplace. My name is Jack and I'm your host. If you're an entrepreneur, if you're a big business, or if you're just a hardworking employee, I will try to give you the tools to improve your business, improve your ideas, mindset, and your life. This is episode number two, and we need to get this topic out of the way before you continue to listen to this podcast. Basically, what I wanted to do in this episode number two, so in episode number one, I told you something about me, something about why I'm doing this, why I'm doing this podcast. But in episode number two, I want to talk about you and who are you and why should you listen or why shouldn't you listen to this podcast? So basically, it pisses me off. To hear people saying, I want to get rich. I wish I had time to enjoy life more. I wish I had time to do nothing. And I, I mean, you can, if that's your goal, you just need to do something about that. So basically, um, I want to tell you a story. So a couple of months ago, or to a year ago, I was sitting with my friend. Uh, I knew him from high school. And uh, basically, we were friends uh, all through high school and all through the beginning of college. And we lost track. So you know how it goes. So we lost track for a couple of years, uh, almost 10 years. And in the you know in the meantime a lot happened to me a lot happened to him we went our separate ways and basically he finished college he finished university he's now um you know in a good job you know for for most people we called each other and we went out for a coffee and he was unsatisfied he was unsatisfied with his work with what he's doing right now with the the pay that he's getting and he said to me you know so i'm i'm not satisfied i'm thinking about doing something else and for me i was a young entrepreneur i was uh, helping other people i was doing online business i i was okay let's talk so what are, what ideas do you have what do you like to do so what are you doing right now so he was teaching and he was teaching private lessons okay so let's pin it let's you know let let's uh, make you teach all over uh, on skype let's do an online let's launch a product something uh, let's see if you want to do a service somewhere so you know i'm from it so i'm thinking digital immediately and he was saying no 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 you don't understand so uh, basically i i just wish i had a little bit more money but the job that i'm having right now is quite okay because i don't have to do much so okay i was saying so okay you want a little bit more money so enough about my ideas tell me what you like and then we'll spin it into something else well, what do I like? Yeah, so what do you like? So what, what would you like to do? And we'll make it a business. So, well, I like to drink coffee and read the newspapers. And th that's my goal. And I was just thinking, okay, we have nothing else to talk about. That's it. You're dead to me. I can't help you. So if, if you don't have anything that you would like to do, do you don't have anything that you would like to put your, you know, uh, strength and effort and time in, you know, we don't have anything else to talk about. If you're not satisfied with your job or your life or any other situation that you're currently in, you need to want to do something about your situation and you need to want to do work you need to want to get out you know and i'm not saying it's easy sometimes you have to um sometimes you have to do your day job while you do your side hustle uh, or or side project to get that business going or to get that side going but you need to want to do that you need to want to invest the time and the energy in something that will later on bring you something that you love to do in your life let me tell you another story. So when I was starting, and you know, I, I told you last uh, last episode that my initial steps were first of all I was a freelancer, then I was a remote worker, and then I started to do you know entrepreneurship. So between the remote working and the entrepreneurship, my decision to become an entrepreneur came in at the time that I was saying so I need to be myself, I need to be my own boss, but I don't have the 
the funds to do it. So I don't have the capital to, you know, say, uh, run my company for six months if nothing else happens. So, but, and you need some kind of capital um, to say, okay, I'm launching this business, but if I don't get immediately an income, a profit from my clients or prospective clients, then I need to sustain it for a period of time before I quit, you know, or just, I'll just die. So what did I do? I left my current job because it was taking too much time. I was going back to freelance. I found another job within one day and then I knew, uh, I knew how to sell myself. And I, I'm going to talk to you about that in uh, another episode. I found another job that I held on for six months while I was building my own business. And that job just enabled me to have enough to pay my salary while I put everything that I have from the entrepreneurship into the, into the, the new business. And it took me about six to nine months parallel working between two jobs until I was able to quit the, the temp job, the freelance job, and focus only on my entrepreneurship job. So basically, but you need to be willing to do that. You need to be willing to sacrifice the time, your personal time, your coffee time, your, your hobby time, your TV time, your something time to do the side hustle that you want to later on be the full hustle of your life. Everything we have and everything we achieve is a result of our own actions. And so that applies to everything, our job, our life, our health. You know, I, I, I'm not just saying if you want to be an entrepreneur, if you want to lose weight and I'm, you know, I'm not, I'm not succeeding in that. So maybe you'll see a change throughout this podcast series. But you need to put in the work. You need to put in the time. If you're not happy about something, you need to do something about it now. I'll see you in the next episode of the podcast, Backwater Entrepreneur.